girls all around the world might look up to them, hoping to one day play in the same league as them. But they will follow your example. And if you keep saying hey, that things are bad, that things are bad, that things are bad, but you're not actually being genuine, they will complain before they get in the league. WNBA has some great players. So let's compare it to the NBA as well. Not of today, but of back then. Mm -hmm. We have some great players, uh, well-known players. You have Cheryl Swoops. She is one of the, I don't know, one of the first, uh, one of the first superstars mm. in the WNBA. Uh, Diana Taurasi, Candace Parker, uh, Lisa Leslie, and so on and so forth. But do you think that they have more or less popularity than the than the NBA players had in the 30th year of the NBA, which was in 1970? Less, of course, of it uh, 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 in this moment, probably. So, so, what are you? What What's your answer? Probably less. Probably their reach. So the reach of them what might be might be bigger. But I think popularity wise, I think the the in seventies they might have been, um, because I mean also take into account people had less options on TV back then. You watch NBA when it's there because I mean, is there anything else to watch? Also, yeah, they yeah. get into account. But I think they were probably more popular than the the, the female basketball players of now, or even the one you said. I don't know her name. Sorry for for forgetting her name, but. So, I'm not strong in names, guys, but I, I can tell you stories about me forgetting names. Yeah. So in, the, so in the 30s, in, in the 1970s, you had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Walt Frazier, Bob McAdoo. So you had those, those, let's say those are the players that when we talk about the best player alive in mm -hmm. the NBA, that's where it starts. So it was the in the NBA's 30th year, that they started regarding a person as the best player ever. And now we are, uh, we are 50 years later, 50 years later. Yeah. And you Kareem have is the, still relevant, by the way. Kareem is still relevant, but now they're talking about LeBron. And they say, yeah, LeBron will, if LeBron, if, if the, um, what do they say? If the, if LeBron in his prime goes against Kareem in his prime, then LeBron would destroy him. And then you have the whole discussion about time and period and all yeah. those type of things. But my point is this, the NBA players of today, the WNBA players of today, they want the league to grow. If the league really grows, their name would be forgotten. And they should want that because that mean, that would mean that they have helped pave the way for other players to come. They've, for, they've uh, been examples to, to, to little, little girls who can, mm -hmm. you know, can, can, th can say, hey, I can do it too. They can grow up, become better players. They can start from a younger age and they would basically pave the way but still in business so that would mean that the product can become better but even then KR your product can be great that doesn't mean that the market is willing to pay for it so if you want the market to pay for it you need to see you need to Make sure to make it attractive to the market. In 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 startup terms, you gotta make the, your your value proposition product market fit. Yeah. And great build, point, by the way, relating to the the ones that are now. They should you should be forget. 
Yeah. It's, it's selfless. You have to be you have to be selfless in the pursuit for women rights. Yeah. It's, it's good. You. Yeah. And it's good. Wait. It's good that they they so what they're doing today will have an impact tomorrow. Yeah. But if you're asking now, let's say if you're asking now in a league that has lost money 27 years in a row, a league that has never made one that has never broken even one year, apparently, according to the sources we cited, then you have no right to ask for more money. Well, you can always ask for more money. But if they give you more money, then the league will stay in a perpetual state of, of funding. Yeah. Or you need to find an investor or a group of investors who are crazy enough or at least have a high risk appetite who are willing to pour billions to grow the market, to grow the company with the hopes that they will get their money back. But I think that if funding, because it's not, I mean, a company, um, the WNBA is still here because it receives funding from amongst other the NBA. Yeah. They are basically functioning as a foundation, a nonprofit foundation. Yeah. And that's, you should be able to stand on your own two feet. Yeah, and 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 to add to that, I do think that the fact these women have to be aware, or these players, these athletes have to be aware that they are building something. You're not, you're not, you're not the end goal. I mean, I understand you understand you and understand that you're putting in the time to to to. The, the the guys who started the league, the NBA league in, in, in 1946, they were also putting the time. But they, they went they didn't get paid nothing. Yeah. Sixty thousand, man. I, I think even if you translate it in this this time, there's probably maybe 60, 70, maybe eighty thousand. Yeah. But you know what, uh, KR? That <laughs> if you you you're the example. I'm the I example. Can, from from what from Obama's basement or no not you but I'm talking about, I'm talking about the the players of the WNBA right now okay yeah they are the example yeah so little girls all around the world might look up to them hoping to one day play in the same league as them but they will follow your example and if all if the if you keep saying hey the things are bad the things are bad the things are bad but you're not actually being genuine. You, they will s complain before they get in the league. And yeah. I was watching this video. I don't know. Uh, this is the last thing I, I have to say on this topic. I was watching a video about a very interesting video of a business, a young guy who started a business, failed in 12 businesses. And the 13 succeeded, and now he's earning good money. Mm -hmm. And he said, when we were, they were talking about employees, that a lot of employees, and these are not uh, players, no athletes, but just regular employees, mm -hmm. they ask for a raise because they've been for a company for an X amount of time. So they feel mm -hmm. like they have the right. I've been here for a year. I've been here for two years. And he says, that makes me fire them quickly. If you bring value to the company, you will get a raise tomorrow. But you need to show me that that is your value. Now, collectively, so the value of the company, the company cannot afford to pay the salary that the NBA can afford to pay, to pay Steph Curry and the likes. Shaq, I think Shaq, uh, 
with the Lakers, you earned about 15 million a year. Compare that to the players now earning 50 per year. It's, it's different. It's, different. it's a different time. But if you cannot bring value, both the organization itself, WNBA, but the teams as well, and with value, that has nothing to do with how well you play. But if the consumer doesn't see value enough value to purchase, then you don't have a right. That so that's what I meant to say. With you don't have the right, you don't have the right in the sense of it's it's you are entitled. You're being entitled at that particular point in time. So I understand what they're saying. I understand why they feel like that because hey, why do they those players fly? business or they fly private and we need to fly delta well if they start pay i mean yeah. um, it's it speak for itself bob wire just remember the, that analogy guys the bob wire right and it happens in every in every in every uh, every situation not only in sports but sometimes also in companies the first employees might not be getting the full payment I hope you guys are smart enough to negotiate some assets, some options in your uh, in your salary. But if you don't, you're doing it for free. If the company grows, you're not getting any profit. But but you're the one first who jumped on the barbed wire. 